make clear we take our support for the people of Taiwan seriously and are determined to speak with one voice. House Speaker Kevin, Kevin McCarthy defying communist China, meeting with Taiwan's president in California ahead of a bipartisan congressional delegation's arrival on the island. It was the delegation's third overseas stop after visiting Japan and South Korea. China now beginning military exercises near Taiwan and sanctioning some of U.S. interests. As a result, former Super Bowl champ, now congressman from the great state of Utah, Burgess Owens, is with me to discuss. Congressman Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, my pleasure. Good, good talking with you. Looking forward to this, my friend. So uh, just set the stage here for us, uh, because I think a lot of people, when, they, when we hear Taiwan, uh, they have the basic question. Why is Taiwan vital to U.S. interests? Well, it's the, it's, it, it, it reflects our culture, reflects the idea of freedom. Very innovative state. I was just there on uh, Christmas time with some of my colleagues. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful country. And it's, it's very obvious that uh, China... China being the bully they are, uh, like to steal other people's dreams and, and efforts, that's what they do. Uh, I, I'll say this, though, I'm, I'm really proud of the, the, um, the group that went to, uh, uh, to meet with the Taiwan, Taiwanese president, with, uh, with our leader. It shows the courage that America needs to, to show. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's actually what's very refreshing. We, we're tired of cowardice. We're tired of putting our tails between our legs and running, running away like we did in Afghanistan or, 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 or not dealing with the balloon because we're afraid of what China might do or not dealing with the, the, the border because of what China might do. We're looking for yeah. courage. So I'm excited about yeah. that for sure. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy becoming the most senior elected American official to meet with a Taiwanese president on American soil since diplomatic relations began with Beijing. Congressman, is it time? to move on from the one China policy that has been used to sort of placate the CCP for decades and finally fully support Taiwan's independence. It's absolutely, absolutely time. It's time for us to stop placating China, period. They're not our friends. They're enemies. And they do everything they can to subvert who we are. They are the, actually the antithesis of who we are. We believe in freedom <clears throat> and they believe in slavery and, and, uh, and, and theft. Uh, their culture, I mean, the com culture of communism is everything we're, that we stand against. So, yes, it's time for us to stand up for our friends, those who love freedom, and show everybody around the world that we're going to stand for them and with them in every way, in every way we can. And I would hope that, uh, that Biden would go ahead, President Biden, go ahead and send them the, the armament that they've already paid for. Uh, let's mm -hmm. get on the ball here and not be uh, laggards like they've been in the past and show weakness. So it's time for them to... to to be ready for anything that comes at them, we can help them help them do that in, in, in a lot of different ways. Yeah, Congressman, to that to that point, why have there been delays, and what is the GOP Congress going to do to try and get the Pentagon uh, to uh, to make sure that the, that these weapons are delivered? Because as you said, we've we've promised them, but there's been a delay. Well, this is typical of the Biden administration. They, he's a lagger on anything that, that helps our country, anything that helps freedom. Uh, anything that uh, that you can think outside the box, be proactive, innovative, they're not going to go in that direction. So we're doing everything we can on our side to make sure that we are, uh, first of all, being transparent, bringing attention to this. <clears throat> At the end of the day, it's going to be the Biden administration that has to pull the trigger, but we're going to put everything we can to put uh, the pressure and uh, to show the American people that this is something we should be doing now so we don't, so we can avert a war of fighting that later on and death is going to come uh, because we're not, sta not standing in the gap like we should. Congressman Burgess Owens, happy Easter to you. Always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you, my friend. All the best. Happy um, Easter.